We don't have anybody in front of us, so we're going to hold down the brake in sport mode, turn off traction control and stability control, foot down on the brake, mash the gas, launch control ready. Oh my God, that thing pulls so hard. Oh, that is somewhat frightening. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Philip with Geared Towards Automotive and today is an awesome day because behind me I have the beautiful bright orange 2020 Kia Stinger GTS. This car was just released. It's one of 800 models in the country, in the United States. And this one was provided by Carriage Kia of Woodstock and they physically have it in stock. It's ready to be driven and bought. Today we're gonna to be looking at the inside, the outside, and I'll be driving the vehicle to show you the differences between this one and maybe an older model or just a regular GT. So stick around and let's jump straight into, without further ado, the 2020 Kia Stinger GTS. All right, so because you guys came here to see the car and not my face, I'll just show it to you from the first person view. Right up front here, the main differences between the new 2020 Kia Stinger GTS are a lot of the uh, real carbon features, and then you have, of course, the power sunroof up top and the 3.3 liter turbocharged V6, which you had in the other models. Now, this is the rear wheel drive version. Uh, however, you can get it in the D all wheel drive, which gives you access to the, uh, I believe it's the drift mode, where if you just hit the uh, ESC and the traction button, it will uh, disable all of the traction stability and you'll be able to drift around corners. I will show you launch control in this one, which is available, which is a really neat feature. So looking up here, you're gonna have this nice bright orange color. I love the contrast between the orange, the carbon features right there on the mirror, and then the little, uh, the actual vents that do work up here and then the contrast between that and the wheels as well which have a darker alloy finish and then down here on this grill so this is all of course functional you have the carbon here and then you have the darker colored chrome right here along with the open vent right there in the front of the vehicle so these vents right here are of course functional air is going to pass straight through there Right over the nice, beautiful 19-inch alloy wheels right there, you have the red Brembo brakes, uh, and these are Michelin tires. They're good quality tires. And the air is gonna come straight through this carbon vent right here, and that is real carbon. And then again, the beautiful contrast between the orange and the carbon right there is just amazing. Great color choice combination by Kia. And then you're gonna have this beautiful mirror right here. So this is carbon, of course, with the turn signal right there. And you can see a lot of BMW styling just at this glance right here. When I look at it in person with the mirrors, uh, the front carbon and the air vent right there, you get a lot of BMW-esque feeling and look. And when you drive the vehicle, that definitely is present as well. So I think they did a really good job at just designing the vehicle to be a sportier, more fun car. Now I drove and reviewed the 2019 Kia Stinger, and I believe that was the GT1 or GT2, so I was actually never in a base model GT, if you can even call it a base for that matter, but the GTS is definitely interesting. You're gonna get all of those features. In the front and the back, you're going to have the parking sensors. You have four up front, four in back. You have the light bar going all the way across, just like the previous model year Stinger. And then what they've done 
instead of having a Kia logo, they've actually added the Stinger logo right there along with the GTS logo. And I personally think that looks a whole lot better uh, than the regular Kia logo there. It just adds more style. Uh, and I think I said in the last one, it kind of looks like a Maserati logo. So it doesn't hurt to have that sitting on the back of your car. Everything is covered, but you have the red turbo right here. You have the GDI engine, of course. It's turbocharged, 3.3 liter V6. And then you have these reinforcement bars right here between the struts. So not much to see there, of course. You're gonna have plenty of power, plenty of fun out of the vehicle, but this is a look under the hood of the new 2020 Kia Stinger GTS. On the other side here, these doors are not too heavy, but they're nice and solid when you open them. And then we'll get into the back in just a little bit. But when you close that up, you'll notice this handle up here has the push to lock and unlock. You have the keyless entry. And then up here on the mirror, you're going to have the blind spot indicators right there. As you're looking at the Kia Stinger GTS from the rear, of course, you're going to notice the light bar and the quad tip exhaust. And it is a four door sedan, but it does have a hatchback feel. So this is Federation orange. It's beautiful. Uh, with the black interior and the darker finishes and this is a look at the trunk space so i have of course my camera bag and tripod back here you have this cover right here to keep your things private if people are peeking through the glass but you do have plenty of space back here for bags and belongings golf bags what have you and you have the 60 40 split seats that do fold down still unlike a lot of its competitors in the german power seats of course with the contrast stitching now this is a little bit of a game changer very excited about this. You have the Alcantara center console. This is a long, big center console, but it just feels a lot nicer, especially when your arm is resting on there. And then to pair with that, you have the Alcantara steering wheel. Now in the GT that I reviewed in the 2019 model, it was a GT one or two, I believe you had the leather steering wheel, which is nice and all, but for this car, which is more of a racy version, it is nice to have a true Alcantara steering wheel with the flat bottom. It just gives you uh, that true racing feel that you're expecting out of the car, which you do get when you drive this car. And these are all of your buttons. You can control the screen there in front of you. So you have your drive info, accumulated info like trip and gas mileage and you're going to have your drive mode right up there or your digital speed which i like to have as well so of course here you're going to have your center stack the nice eight inch screen that pops out you'll have your navigation standard on there in this model your air vents climate control right there and then you have the power features right there with the wireless charging mat that's important to have nowadays right there a really cool feature that kia put in here is the book that they actually give you when you buy the vehicle. Now this is the GTS performance features guide. So if you flip through here, you'll actually see how to do launch control, how to put it into drift mode, and uh, all about the track timer and the G meter and all that stuff. So I will show you uh, launch control uh, based off of what I learned in here. Now you have all of your other features like the parking brake, drive mode right here, auto hold, heated seats, which is nice because this is right in between the GT and the GT1. Now you're going to get leather, heated seats, uh, the parking sensors, the auto engine idle on off navigation. So if it were me, I would just go with this model instead of uh, the other two models because you're getting a mix of everything at a very aggressive price point uh, nonetheless for everything you get in the vehicle. And as we take a look at the rear, everything is leather. It's perforated back here. And then you have the contrast stitching throughout the vehicle on the center console and steering wheel. You'll have the orange contrast stitching. And in the rear, you're going to have your gray or black contrast stitching there. You'll notice the Harman Kardon speakers right there. They're all silver finished and throughout the whole vehicle. And then as we look back here, you're going to have two vents, a 12 volt power outlet and another outlet right here which is USB that you can charge as well. So that's a nice little game changer where they actually put USB in the back and the back is comfortable. It has this nice sloping pillar right here, but you can fit two adults comfortably in the back. Uh, unlike a lot of the competitors where the seating might be a little tight in the back. All right, now that we have looked at the outside, the inside of the new 2020 Kia Stinger GTS, it's time to finally drive the car. Super excited. I have the Alcantara steering wheel in my hands and we're going to try out launch control once we get to a spot here that we can do it i'm definitely going to turn the auto engine idle off because i'm not a big fan of that so let's try out launch control first and we'll cover everything else on the inside all right we don't have anybody in front of us so we're going to hold down the brake in sport mode turn off traction control and stability control foot down on the brake mash the gas launch control ready oh my 
God, that thing pulls so hard. Oh, that is somewhat frightening. Uh, and you do have the paddle shifters too, so you can shift through the gears if you want to. That was just straight automatic because uh, I wanted to keep both hands uh, on the steering wheel. But man, 3.3 V6 turbocharged with launch control. Um, I haven't had butterflies like that in a long time, so thank you, Kia. <laughs> As you could tell from the launch control, uh, they were not kidding when they said 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds. Uh, this is a force to be reckoned with. If you're considering uh, an Audi, a BMW, or Mercedes, any higher-end German car, uh, even a Porsche for that matter, if you are really trying to save money and you can do without the badge, of a German brand car and you're okay with a Kia, which there's no reason you shouldn't be at this point, like I mentioned in my previous Kia Stinger video, this thing is just sick. It is so fun to drive, so fast. It is very comfortable. You have the bolsters, you have leather seats, you even have heated seats. So if you're commuting to work in the winter, guess what? You can't complain that you're cold. You have heated seats. This is definitely something to check out. Of course, if you want to check it out, you can go to a Carriage Kia in Woodstock. This is one of 800 in the country that I was fortunate enough to be able to drive, thank you to them, and show you the inside and out and the real deal the, the surrounding the GTS and all the hype around it. Uh, so if you want to check one out and you're in the Atlanta area, uh, hit up Carriage Kia of Woodstock or one of your other local Kia dealers if you're anywhere else in the country uh, and then see them for the new 2020 Kia Stinger GTS.